Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. One of the most uh, frequently asked questions that I get a lot, subhanAllah, in this channel is the word Ghazwa Hind. And a lot of brothers, uh, they have asked this question actually. Yesterday, one brother asked this question What is my opinion about Ghazwa Hind and when this will take place? So, inshallah, this video I want to make mention of a few points. I made a video before about Ghazwa Hind. Now, Ghazwa Hind, if you do not know Hindi, uh, or Urdu or Bengali, uh, you should know that Ghazwa Hind basically means the battle of the Hind. Uh, Ghazwa is a word that means battle, uh, like uh, Arabic word Harb is also means battle. Uh, the difference between Ghazwa and, and Harb is that Ghazwa is where the Prophet Sallallahu uh, participated directly uh, in, in a battle. On the other hand, uh, any other battle that uh, was not participated by the Prophet is not Ghazwa. So from the very definition we understand that Ghazwa Hind that will take place at the end of time according to so many people uh, it has to do with the prophecy of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So what are uh, some of the um, opinions or what do I believe in? I want to make mention of a few points about this uh, particular concept uh, Ghazwa Hind. Number one dear and sisters this is a Ghazwa or battle that will be fought by Mujahid okay the Mujahideen they will be fighting the battle if there is one uh, to my understanding this battle already took place uh, during the time of the Sahaba where uh, the prophecy uh, was made a few years uh, before the conquest of uh, the Indian subcontinent um, but there are some other people who strongly believe that this Ghazwa will take place in the future uh, before the end of time so let's uh, for the sake of argument let's say uh, this is a battle that will take place uh, at the end of time so I want to make few comments number one is the Mujahid th who will be fighting this battle uh, they are nowhere today <laughs> you may call the Pakistani army uh, Mujahid but they are not Mujahid they are actually army who is representing a secular state so in no, in no way, shape or form, we can say that the Pakistani army is going to be the army uh, that will conquer the Indian subcontinent and establish the law of Allah That is simply not possible. Number two is also we have Afghan Mujahid and some people say, you know, these are the you know, Taliban who will be uh, at the end of time, the Mujahid coming and conquering uh, this land, Ghazwa Hind. And that is also not true because these people, the, uh, you know, the Mujahid, the Taliban, so-called Mujahid, they are not on haq they have fought, they practice they follow a lot of things that are not according to the quran and sunnah personally i do not uh, believe that this is the right group but as i said in the past that uh, some of them will constitute the actual mujahideen who will be coming and giving victory to the uh, imam Mahdi army number three point which is also very very important um, UP Chief Minister, his name is Yogi um, Adityanath. Yogi Adityanath is from PTI. He made a comment a uh, few, uh, I think uh, quite a while ago actually. He said, quote, For those dreaming of Ghazwa Hind, this is new India under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi. And he, o he made it very clear <laughs> that anybody who would talk about Ghazwa Hind, anybody who would dream of uh, concurring Indian subcontinent will fail miserably and he uh, in fact indirectly uh, declared war against the Muslims whoever think of doing uh, this Ghazwa Hind will face fierce resistance so uh, this is his opinion and I again personally I don't believe uh, Muslims are uh, waiting to uh, concur Indian subcontinent I don't believe this is at least for now uh, and in the in the foreseeable future I don't think I don't see that is happening there is not a single Muslim army today in the, in the Indian subcontinent who is preparing to go conquer India. These are all um, fabricated stories and nobody is you know, encouraging this kind of war because again, as we know, a war is something we do not want. We want peace, all of us. Uh, but this is UP uh, Chief Minister and we know the rhetoric coming from Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi it's pretty pretty harsh uh, against and especially against the Muslim uh, immigrants it is very very harsh and uh, they are ready they are ready to um, you know quell any um, you know uh, voice that would talk about this kind of uh, uh, war 
at the end of time. Number four point is, dear brothers and sisters, when we talk about Ghazwa Hind, this is a, a end of time cleanup. I shared in my past videos that the Mahdi, his priority is not going to be Indian subcontinent. As you can see on the map, um, the Roman Empire, the, the Khazaria, as you can see right here, uh, the focus, primary focus of the Mahdi is going to be Middle East. It's going to be Mecca, Medina, and Jerusalem. Um, as I said in, the, in my other videos, these are the three places that will play a significant role. And of course, uh, Rasulullah he mentioned about Syria and Yemen. Allahumma barik lana fi shamina wa yamana. Rasulullah he himself uh, made dua for these two places, Yemen and Syria. So uh, the Mahdi, his priority, his focus will be uh, that region, not uh, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. Um, but once he is done with that, once the Muslims uh, are able to establish the flag of Islam in Jerusalem, in Baitul Maqdis, Al Quds, uh, then of course the cleanup, uh, final cleanup for the, uh, the Mahdi army would be to go to India and get rid of the paganism. Because as we know, that Allah Azza will send a lot of barakah under the uh, leadership of Mahdi, there will be peace. And there will be a lot of wealth muslims will enjoy a lot of good things so th during that time um, the muslim army will come to india and, and concur just imagine yourself uh, mahdi cannot come to india or that the muslims will not be dominant in india under mahdi how would that feel like it is not something we we anticipate what we expect from the mahdi army is that they will uh, establish the, the hukum of allah the rule of allah azawajal on every piece of land and that will also include india pakistan bangladesh uh, you name it uh, he will have his flag uh, planted there number five point when the state of israel will fall uh, the paganism will also fall too right now if you take a look at the world situation every pretty much every country i should not say every country a lot of the countries they are now being controlled by who by the yahudi uh, you talk about Bangladesh, you talk about India, with Pakistan, these are Israeli states. Not maybe Pakistan right now, they are talking about, you know, China and whatnot. But at the end of the day, Pakistan is also under the system of the Yahudi. Um, directly, indirectly, like it or you don't like it, doesn't matter. The point here is that once the state of Israel is gone, then um, everything else that these um, Yahudis, they are propping up right now, government, economic system, a political system everything will just uh, collapse once this um, uh, s state of Israel is uh, under control by the Muslims and this is something uh, that will happen in the future under the Mahdi uh, we do not again encourage anybody to go mad to think about you know going tomorrow and trying to concur <laughs> lands and whatnot uh, that's not what we want sorry for the noise coming from outside um, but inshallah it will, it will, it will, go, it will go on soon. Uh, the point here is that uh, the main, okay, the head of the snake is the state of Israel because uh, they are now very, very powerful. They are very, very powerful in terms of technology, money, you name it, they have it. So Gazu uh, we do not have to worry about it. Uh, what we have to focus on is really uh, in the Middle East, try our best to raise our voice against oppression, against tyranny, so that inshallah, um, we will be able to do our part and not be held accountable by Allah Azza because people who do not talk about these topics, these uh, issues, uh, and they call themselves Muslim, uh, you will be uh, in a tough position on the day of judgment because they are your brothers and sisters. And it is not only about Palestine or this or that, it's about the whole entire ummah. Karajulu uh, Wahid, Rasulullah said uh, that the uh, body of the Ummah, uh, Ummatan Wahidan, it is one body, Karajula Wahid, it is uh, just as a Wahid, it's one body. So you have to uh, feel the pain when somebody else is uh, in pain, uh, who is your also Muslim brother. Uh, but we stand up for any kind of uh, zulm and uh, we, uh, inshallah, try our best to make dua and uh, hope for peace. So these are the some of the points, as I mentioned, number one, there is no Mujahid right now that we know today. Uh, who is going to be taking part in this Ghazwa Hind to bring uh, Islamic rule. Uh, number two is uh, cleaning up uh, the Indian. They are up to, uh, you know, they're very, very ready. 
and also we know that uh, when the state of Israel will fall, uh, this uh, all will end and Islam will establish, will be established. Um, if you're new here, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.